Good day everyone. Welcome to another edition of our mathematics presentation. Okay, the topic that we are going to discuss today, Mathematics 4, Quarter 2, Module 1, Factors and Multiples, Prime and Composite Numbers. Now, let us take first factors. What do you mean by factors? Factors are numbers you multiply to get another number. Meaning to say, the two numbers that when we multiply are called factors. So that if we have 3 times 5 will give us 15. 15 is the product and a result of multiplying two or more numbers. The factors are 3 and 5. So if you want to have a result or a product of 15, you will have to multiply two factors. You have 3 multiplied to 5 will give a product of 15. So we call 3 and 5 factors of 15. So next example, we have 4 times 7. So when you multiply 4 times 7, it will give a product of 28. So if you are asked, what are the factors of 28? So one of the factors of 28 are 4 times 7 or 4 multiplied to 7 will give a product of 28. So, we call 4 and 7 factors as well as 5 and 3 are factors of 15. So, when you are asked what are the factors of a particular number, then you have to think of two numbers, two pair of numbers that will give you the number that is being ask. If you are asked about what is the factor of 15, then you will multiply 3 times 5. 3 and 5 will be the factors of 15. And you are asked about what is the factor of 28, then you will have 4 times 7 or 4 and 7. Let's go into the next item. We have multiples. Now, what does the word multiples mean? Multiples is a number that can be divided by two or more numbers. Meaning to say, a number which is divisible by two or more numbers is what we call multiples. It can be divided by two or more numbers. Okay. First example, we have 42. 42 is a multiple of two, three, 6 and 7. Why do we say that it is a multiple of 2, 3, 6 and 7? It's because 42 can be divided by 2 exactly without remainder. So much also with 3. You can divide 42 by 3 still without remainder. About 6. Still 42 is divisible by 6 and divisible by 7. Therefore 42 is a multiple of 2, 3, 6 and 7. So we have another number. We have 36. So 36 is a multiple of 2. Can be divide, divided by 2 exactly without remainder. It is also divisible by 3. How about 4? It can be divided by 4. You have 36 by 4. It will give 9. How about 6? Still divisible by 6. 36 by 6 will give us 6. How about 9? 36 divided by 9 will give us 4. How about 18? 36 divided by 18 will give us 2. How about 12? Still, it is divisible by 12. So, 36 is a multiple of these numbers. So, we call this multiples because this number is divisible by 2 or more number. Okay, next number we have 52. 52 is a multiple of 2, 4, 13, and 26. How do we know that this is a multiple of 2, 4, 13, and 26? We simply say that this number is a multiple of 2 because it can be divided by 2 exactly without remainder. How about 4? So it can be divided by 4 exactly without remainder. So 52 divided by 4 will leave us 13. 
How about 13? Of course, 13 is the factors of 52 because if you multiply 4 times 13, you will give, get 52. So, 26. 26 is one half of 52. Therefore, we can divide 52 by 36. So, this is what we call multiples. A number that can be divided by 2 or more numbers. Okay, let's take on now prime numbers. Now, what is this prime numbers? What are these numbers that are called prime numbers? Now, prime numbers are numbers whose factor is only one multiplied by itself. Mean to say, that number has no other factor except one multiplied by itself. Example, you have 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and 13. So this numbers is called a prime number. Why do we call these numbers are prime numbers? Its factor is only one multiplied by itself. Okay, let's take this. What are the factors of 2? There is no other factor for 2 except 2 times 1. So how about 3? Still, no other factor except we multiply 3 times 1. No other factor. 5, still, 5 times 1. 7, still, we only have 7 times 1. 11, factors of 11 is 11 times 1. Factors of 13, we have 13 times 1. So these are some of the example of numbers that are called prime numbers. Okay, let's go to the next one. You have composite numbers. So what are those numbers which are called composite numbers? Composite numbers are numbers that has two or more factors. Meaning, the numbers or the, the factors of that particular number consist of two or more factors. Okay. Example, we have 6. 6 has two factors. We have 2 times 3 and 1 times 6. So that this number is called composite number because it has two or more factors. How about 8? Eight? 8 has two factors also. We have 1 times 8 and 2 times 4. How about 10? 10 has two factors also. 1 times 10 2 times 5. How about 12? 12 has 3 factors. We have 2 times 6, 3 times 4, and 1 times 12. 14 has 2 factors. 14 times 1, 2 times 7. 16 has 3 factors. We have 2 times 8, 4 times 4, and 1 times 16. So these are just some of the example of composite numbers. Numbers that has two or more factors. Let's take some of the items in your module, particularly in your assessment. So we have 54. So what are the pair of factors of 54? So we need to talk of pair of factors, two numbers being multiplied to get a product of 54. So first we have 2 times 27. Result is 54. Next we have 6 times 9. Result will be 54. Next we have 1 times 54. Still the product is 54. So these are what we call pair of factors. Uh, two numbers uh, that will give us a product of 54. So what are the list of factors for 54. What do you mean by list of factors? These are numbers being used when you are going to find the product that will give you 54. So we have 1. 1 is being used as a factor of 54. When you multiply 1 times 54. Okay, next factor we have 2. 2 is a factor of 54 when you multiply 2 times 27. 
you have 6, you have 9, you have 27, and 54. These are list of factors for 54. Okay, another number still taken from your assessment. Okay, you have 38. What are the pair of factors for 38? So we have 38, 1 times 38, and 2 times 19. So these are the two pair of factors when you are to look for the pair of factors of 38. Two numbers in multiplied that will give us a product of 38. So what are the list of factors for 38? So we use 2, we use 1, 19, and 38. So these are what we call the list of factors for 38. Another number is 90. 90. So what are the pair of factors for 90? So first you have 1 times 90. Next you have 2 times 45 will give you 90. 3 times 30 still will give a product of 90. 6 times 15 will give a product of 90. 9 times 10, so we still get 90. So these are the pair of factors for 90. So what are the list of factors for 90? So we have 1, 2, 3, 6, 9, 10, 15, 30, 45, and 90. These are the list of number used as a factor for 90. Okay, these are all for today's video. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe my channel so that you will be notified for the next videos that I will be uploading. Once again, thank you and God bless.